All right, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. We're going to go ahead and get started with this crypto quickie, as we do have a lot to cover. So, as uh, the guy would say in Jurassic Park, hold on to your butts. All right, Decentralized Oracle Solution Umbrella Network launches public testnet. Crypto services plat platform NetSense expands scope with launch of NFTs. I'm going to discuss NFTs later. Uh, fake Elon Musk Twitter giveaway costs German man 10 BTC. Please stop falling for scams, people. Just stop. Pol Polish uh, city integrates municipal Ethereum-based ecosystem. Everyone's um, starting to, a lot of governments are starting to create smart cities. And we know that the guy in Miami wants to do it. Um, <clears throat> Akon is already uh, starting the development of his smart city um, using Acoin. So, yeah, it's happening. Ye I'm going to mess up his name. Yeezyheach and VeChain to supply lipstick products with NFC chips. Cardano blockchain to host digital healthcare platform. That's due to um, a lot of the healthcare platforms are moving to from Ethereum to over to Cardano because of Ethereum's high gas fees. Wall Street uh, giant JP Morgan prepares for Bitcoin and crypto clearinghouse options. Tron to receive its first public oracle by the end of the quarter. Max Kaiser expects to hit uh, expects Bitcoin to hit two hundred and twenty thousand dollars in twenty twenty one as fiat money hyperinflation collapse continues. Uh, that yeah, zero fee DeFi protocol zero swap to launch its first IDO. Texas hits Binance assets FX Smart with cease and desist orders. The watchdog ordered Delta Crypto Limited. Digital Invest and FX Smart Robots to cease operations immediately. So if you guys have been um, taking part of those uh, programs, I suggest you may want to rethink what you're investing in. Report all crypto transactions or face a five-year jail term in South Korea. This is for the businesses as far as I read. Um, it's not necessarily for all of the customers. Makes sense for the businesses though. Um, the last thing you want is uh, fraud or anti-money anti laundering and fraud and tax evasion from businesses. Uh, Bank of Japan governor says the central bank needs to prepare thoroughly for the digital currency. And I, I completely and totally agree. I have no idea why banks aren't really uh, on the uptick there. They're, it's almost like it's like pulling teeth in order to get them to really understand what well, we already know. All, all of us in the crypto space already know exactly what's going on and why banks don't want to do that. But we do have to understand, and banks have to understand, they're, they're going to be losing ground. They're going to be losing a lot of ground when it comes to um, technology, uh, not just blockchain technology, but hollow chain technology, uh, any technology that's going to allow uh, customers to have their own money or citizens to have their own money and not have to worry about or depend on banks. Aztec Network launches Layer 2 privacy on Ethereum. Long-term investors are hodling with 95% of invest Bitcoin trades involving young coins. You know, the, I, I try to tell you guys this all the time. Matter of fact, I was uh, listening to uh, uh, Real Vision. I, I like to listen to Real Vision or Real Paul. Probably not the best for some of you guys if you guys can't handle five-minute videos. Um, but I listen to 40 minutes to an hour-long videos uh, just, you know, while I'm exercising or while I'm shooting hoops or, or whatever. And, um, yeah, uh, Rob Paul talks about how, you know, now's the time to uh, really hold them or hold. He doesn't say hold them, but he says it's, it's good for long-term investors. You know, now's not the time really to be doing all of these trades and stuff like that. But you know what? Hey, to each his own. I talked about having weekends before, so um, you guys can um, take that as you will. Uh, as a side note, since I'm in the middle of this video, I'm not a professional advisor. I'm not a professional anything. Uh, please make sure you do your own research. And um, by all means, people, stop falling for scams. All right. Hacker makes off with $5.7 after ransacking Red Social Token platform. 
Turkish government warms uh, up to crypto charts regulatory course. I've stated this before. There's something about Turkey. I'm keeping an eye on Turkey, not just because they're open to all the cryptocurrencies are uh, open to hollow chain. I'm keeping an eye on Turkey because they seem to really have, um, they're really, they have like this intensity about them to where they're really trying to get the Turkish lira um, uh, stabilized. They're really trying to make their fiat currency stronger. And unlike other countries who are trying to make it stronger by avoiding cryptocurrency, they're trying to make it stronger by um, allowing cryptocurrency to come in and create a more of a stable um, economy. So good on them for recognizing this. Uh, bad on to a, bad on a lot of other countries for not really recognizing this. They're literally, like I said, it's like pulling teeth. They're eventually going to um, have to adopt, but you know, adapt. Excuse me, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, Elon Musk joins NFT craze, sells a song as his first NFT. Again, I'm going to talk about NFTs later. I'm going to make a special video on NFTs probably later on tonight. Um, we'll see. Uh, individual detained in Romania under suspicion of stealing thousands of cryptos from an unnamed major exchange. So uh, got to be more careful on that. All right. BitMEX co-founder Ben Dello apprehended in New York. So check this out. Four founders are all wanted for violating U.S. anti-money laundering law, anti-money laundering laws. So um, this is all happening in New York. I believe two of them, if I'm not mistaken, have been um, have been um, apprehended. Both of them, if I'm uh, not mistaken, I believe I read, and again, you guys can look this up. This is why I always tell you guys, do your research. It's just me just letting you guys know what the general thing is. But two of them have already been apprehended. And uh, one of them I know at least is saying, hey, look here, man, my hands are clean. So we'll see how that goes. Bitcoin is now worth more than Visa and MasterCard combined. You know, this is going to continue. It's going to be worth more than this. It's going to be worth more than that. It's going to be worth more than this. Um, uh, what is it? Currency, that currency. It's going It's going up. So, look, uh, it's, it's just a uh, trend that's going to continue going upward. All right. Uh, India's finance minister says government would allow citizens to experiment on crypto. Look here, man. I don't know what's going on with India. As I stated before, India is just confused. Um, we have a lot of countries, and that's just not a knock on India. A lot of countries, um, they're just confused on the whole cryptocurrency thing. It's literally changing the way people think about finance, changing the way people think about um, income. You know, this is this is all insane. So, hey, you know, uh, if you can't adapt, I don't know what to tell you. You're going to get left behind. All right, let's go ahead and get started. With our um, with the market right now, the market is at one trillion six hundred billion dollars. Bitcoin is up. Uh, excuse me. Bitcoin is uh, its dominance is at sixty point seven percent. Ethereum is at twelve point one percent, and Bitcoin is at around fifty five thousand dollars. We do have some top gainers out there. Terra is up twenty three point seven. Uh, 23% up 73% for the week. Ravencoin is up 28% up 18% for the week. Icon is up 14% down 1% for the week, but it's recovering. Sciacoin is up 32% up 56% for the week. Orbs is up 55% up 629% for the week. You gotta love the crypto space. And Helium is up 18% up 65% for the week. That is uh, what's happening in the markets right now. Um, for any of you guys that have made it this far, I wanna let you guys know I did two things yesterday. First off, I wanna thank you guys for everyone for your comments. Thank you guys for um, uh, the intellectual conversations that we have in the comment section. I really do appreciate that. What I've decided to do, uh, I created a um, Gmail. So if you guys want to ask me any personal questions, uh, not, not personal questions, but, you know, any questions uh, related to crypto, I might even add personal questions like what my favorite food is or something like that. I don't know. Um, but also I um, created a Twitter account as well. So I'll be able to go on Twitter and then we can all take a look at the updates together um, on my computer 
uh, what's happening with uh, Hollow Chain. So that's awesome. So they'll be listed down below. Please uh, make sure just on, on the um, email, just read it kind of carefully. Uh, uh, it's going to be the Crypto Truths with an S, the Crypto Truths at gmail.com. I had to put the S there because apparently somebody already have the Crypto Truth at gmail.com, but it is what it is. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Take it easy. As I always say, please, 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 people, do your own research and you'll be just fine. Um, hang in there. With uh, It'll be less of a risk as long as you do your own research and you'll have stronger hands as long as you do your research. <laughs> and uh, most importantly, my friends, please stay safe out there.